Welcome guys to today's video. Um, I think it will be just a short video but very important for guys who will start with Lumen Fusion and want to know some basics about it. Because today I'm going to explain how keyframes work. I think keyframes are very essential for creating great transitions and effects in Lumen Fusion. So if you already know how keyframes work, you can just quit the video. But if you're interested in how they work and if you want to know more, keep on watching. So let's go into LumaFusion. So we are in the FX interface right now. As you can see, I've selected the same clip I've made for my time-lapse tutorial. You can watch it up here. And the, the video file is in the 4 to 3 scale, but the frame of the final clip will be 16 to 9. So we have more footage than available space. And this is a perfect example to explain you keyframes. Because keyframes are nothing else than a start and a finish point. So. To explain it to you, and it's, it will be very easy, as you can see soon, I will add a keyframe at the beginning, as you can see it's zero, 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 which is the starting point. There are no settings, the video is still in the same frame, but if I add a keyframe at the end of the clip, so the finish point, finishing point, and change the settings, so I'm moving the frame from up here to down there. And what happens now, LumaFusion knows the starting point with its settings and the finishing point with its settings and generates points in between to fill the gap. So every single frame has different settings now which are generated out of the settings from the starting point and the finishing point. The closer you come to the starting point, the closer the settings are to the starting point settings and the closer you are getting to the finishing point, the closer the settings are to this point and everything in between. So as you can see, the frame the video frame is moving from up in the sky to down to the earth. And this is pretty much it, what you have to know about keyframes. Another example would be this, so I'm deleting these keyframes, okay? For example, a zoom in a video file. So I'm adding a keyframe at the beginning. The, let's scale it to the middle so there are no confusion. And uh, the size is 100, so the, the footage fills out the video frame. Now I'm going to the end and add another keyframe and scale it to 200%. So now we have a digital zoom automatically generated from the settings we made uh, with the keyframes. And the program generates the settings in between. If you have any questions about it, feel free to ask me. I hope it's understandable what I'm telling you. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video as well. And subscribe to my channel, give thumbs up and see you next time guys. Bye.